Hey geeks, and so today I want to talk about some huge updates that Caden Live has made, specifically for two really, really important features. And if you are not familiar with what Caden Live is, it is a free and open source video editor. It is available on all major platforms. So whether you're using Windows, Mac, or Linux like I do, you can use Caden Live. And the one thing that I want to stress is that if you want to get the official version of Caden Live, Go to kdenlive.org. If you actually see this software on the App Store or even on the official Microsoft or Apple stores, then those are not going to be the official versions. Kden Live officially is only available for desktop, laptop computers. And so if you see it anywhere else, that is not the real version. So come here to get the official free and open source version of Kden Live. Now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about the big features and updates that they made. So with Caden Live release 24.02.0, this was a huge release. It's now up to 24.02.1. They added numerous features and updates. And this is something that I am super happy to see. And the team at Caden Live, they've just been constantly putting in so much work to make this probably, in my opinion, the best free and open source video editor out there. And for me, this is my second favorite video editor only behind DaVinci Resolve. And the two features that I'm gonna talk about today is all related to subtitles. All right, so here we are in Caden Live. And at the time of this video, I'm currently using version 24.02.1. So this is a point release or a bug fix release to the major version of 24.02. So what I want to talk about here is the incredible updates that they made to the subtitle feature and related tools. And so if you go out here to your project timeline and you do not see your subtitle track, go up here to the subtitle toggle. It's called edit subtitle tool, press it. And now you see a subtitles track. That's the easiest way for you to see that. Now, what I want to first show you is the automated subtitle feature. Now, whenever this was first released, it was not great. And honestly, this is something that's really hard to do because the only other place that I use automated subtitles was in DaVinci Resolve and it was for the paid version because the free version doesn't have that. So let's see how this works in this update with a free and open source automatic subtitle. So I'm gonna choose this clip right here and then I'm gonna go up here to project and then go to subtitles and there's an option here called speech recognition. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. And here you have a number of ways you could choose this. You could have it applied to this entire project, which would take longer, but it's really cool because if you have a lot of clips, it'll go ahead and generate automated subtitles for your entire project. But what I'm gonna do is choose select a clip. Now there is a model here and there's only one language model. In the future, I'm pretty sure they're gonna improve this. So right now it says no audio track available. So what I need to do is actually choose the track first. So now this track is chosen. Let's try that again. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the speech recognition. And now I'm gonna choose select the clip. We'll go ahead and process this. So depending upon your computer, this could take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna wait till this is done. All right, so that is done. Check this out. All these subtitles already appeared. This is really awesome. And whenever you click on it, you can edit the subtitles. Wow. That was fast and I am really impressed because if I actually watch this, so let me go ahead and watch this. I have never seen this before. Wow. I don't know why I haven't seen it and I haven't even seen it. I'll tell you right now, that is an amazing improvement over what it was before. Before the text wasn't right to my speech and also the timings. This is an incredible improvement. And I would say this gets almost right up there with DaVinci Resolve and it did it super quick. And at the same time, if you wanted to, you could also edit each one of these or move these around. Wow, very, very impressed. So that is the first thing they've made significant improvements to the automated subtitles feature. And then the other big thing is now, if you go to the subtitles and choose this drop down, you can add multiple subtitles. So say for example, you had different subtitles with different languages or different styles, then you could use that here. You could create new subtitles. And that is another very, very important feature that I think a lot of people will find useful. Now, the next feature also got some massive improvements and this has to do with the speech 
editor. So in order to see that, you go up here to view and then choose speech editor. And once you have that, you see the speech editor portion. And in this case, you do the whole start recognition. And so it's going to go ahead and automatically uh, look at your clip and then produce text. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, that's done. Now, this is what's really awesome about this feature, right? So you might think, well, is this similar to subtitles? Well, kind of, but not really, because here you could actually select your text and it goes to where you are in your video. This is really powerful. And at the same time with this newest version, you could actually select text and then you could add it to your timeline. Um, let me see if you could, I could show you this. It's called a uh, sequencing. So we'll go here to this plus sign and then you can actually create a new sequence with edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And I'm just gonna name it sequence test, just so you could see. So we'll say, okay. And in this case, it'll actually add this clip depending on where you selected it. And um, I haven't played around with this too much, but this is very, very similar to a feature that is available in DaVinci Resolve, at least the paid version. So just these two feature updates alone make Kaden Live an even more impressive video editor, especially one that is free and open source. And if you think about these features that are really only available in the paid versions of DaVinci Resolve or other software like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut, this is absolutely incredible. And I would say this is a game changer for a lot of people out there, especially those who does a lot of work with subtitles. And so if you actually had any thoughts in this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my Caden Live tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips, including marketing. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.